This video is brought to you by SEMrush. Think big sites like bbc.com are immune to SEO issues? You might be surprised, even the most popular websites can have hidden technical problems that hurt their rankings. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how to uncover them. Hi, I'm Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, I'm diving into SEMrush's site audit tool to show you how even the biggest websites can slip up and how you can use this tool to stay ahead of Google's 2025 algorithm updates. We'll break down real issues, live audit data, and show you exactly how to boost your site's technical health and rankings. It's easier than you think and absolutely worth it. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's get into it. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Site Audit tool from SEMrush to prepare your website for the updated search algorithms in 2025. Search engines are now putting more and more emphasis on the technical health of your website. So, doing regular audits is the best way to stay ahead of the game. Let's head over to the admin panel and see how the Site Audit tool works using a real website and we'll go through everything in real time. You'll find Site Audit in the list of tools. Last time I ran an audit on my online blog and it gave me some solid recommendations to improve SEO. Now we can see the overall site health and performance scores and unfortunately they've dropped a bit since the last audit. There are also a few warnings, but I noticed an increase in internal links. The cool part is you can track changes over time and see how your site is evolving. But today, I want to use a really popular website, bbc.com, as an example. We are going to run a full site audit and see if even a site at that level can have SEO issues. Let's create a new site audit for bbc.com and check the first 100 pages of the website. You can also choose to audit specific sections by using the site's sitemap, sitemap URL, or even uploading a list of URLs from a file. All right, now let's configure the crawler settings. In SEMrush, you can choose how the bot will appear while scanning the website. You've got options like Site Audit Mobile, Site Audit Desktop, Googlebot Mobile, Googlebot Desktop, or even OpenAI Search. For this audit, the most relevant choice is Googlebot Mobile, since Google now indexes the mobile version of websites first, so that's what we're going with. You can also set a crawl delay. That's the time the scanner waits before jumping to the next page. A minimal delay means a fast scan while setting it to one URL every two seconds is more cautious, which is helpful if you're worried about overloading the server. Next, there's the option to respect robots.txt, which means the bot will follow all the website's crawling instructions. You can also limit the audit scope and choose whether or not to enable JavaScript rendering. If JS rendering is disabled, SEMrush won't interpret JavaScript content, but if you enable it, which is a newer feature, SEMrush will render pages more like a real browser. This helps detect dynamic content and gives a more complete audit. By the way, JS rendering requires the guru or business plan. Now moving on to the site adjust settings. This is where you can allow or block specific URLs and choose not to visit certain parts of the site. You can also enter remote URL parameters that should be ignored during the check to keep the audit clean and focused. All right, the final step before starting the audit is configuring the bypass website restriction settings. This option allows SEMrush to bypass robots.txt rules and by robots meta tags, meaning it will scan even those pages the website has specifically asked not to index. Important disclaimer, you should only use this setting if you're auditing your own website especially when you need a full technical check of internal sections, like landing pages, user accounts, 
or back in dashboards that aren't indexed by default. Never use this for other people's websites or public domains because it violates ethical crawling policies and could get you in trouble. Next up we have the Crawl with your credentials feature. This is for scanning protected or gated pages that require a login. SAMrush will prompt you to enter a username and password so it can access and analyze those sections. This is super helpful for things like private dashboards, internal dev sites, or client portals. Basically any part of a site that's hidden from the public but still needs a proper audit. And the last step before we start is the schedule section. Here you can set how often you want the audit to run. For this example, since we're checking bbc.com, I'm just going to run it once. You can also choose whether or not you want to receive an email notification every time an audit is completed. Let's hit Start Site Audit. The tool is now preparing to crawl the website. If needed, we can still go back and adjust our settings. We can see the audit is in progress. And since it takes a little time to scan all the pages, let's wait for the results. And we're back. The audit is complete. We scanned 100 out of 100 pages. And the site health score is 72%. Now, that's actually pretty surprising for a massive and reputable site like BBC.com. But it just shows that even top-tier websites can run into SEO issues. 72% is a decent score, better than average. But there's definitely room for improvement. Here's the breakdown. 85 errors. These are critical issues that need fixing ASAP. Lots of warnings. These aren't as severe as they don't block the website indexing, but they can still impact your SEO. Crawlability – 94% HTTPS – 85% And you can dig deeper into the rest of the metrics from here. Alright, let's dive into the audit results and explore the details. First up, we've got thematic reports, which break everything down into categories. This is where you can check specific errors, see what's causing them, and get suggestions on how to fix them. This audit gives you a ton of detailed insights, which are super helpful when you're working on improving your website's SEO and technical health. Now let's look at a few key metrics. Crawlability is at 94%. That's a solid score. It means the website is almost fully accessible to bots. Out of 100 pages, only 6 weren't indexed. HTTPS implementation. There are still some pages or resources that aren't using HTTPS. You can click through to see exactly where those issues are. International SEO. Looks good. Proper use of hreflame tags is definitely a plus. Core Web Vitals. 0%. And in this case, that's actually great, because it means there were no issues detected. Site performance 96%, that shows the site has strong loading speed and good user experience. Internal linking 91%, nearly perfect. Strong internal linking helps with both SEO and user navigation. Structured data markup, a perfect 100%. That means the structured data is correctly implemented. Now let's check out some of the top issues the audit found. First off, there's no canonical URL or 301 redirect from the HTTP version of the homepage. That's a pretty big SEO issue because it can lead to duplicate pages being indexed, which confuses search engines. Then we've got duplicate title tags. These are non-unique titles that can lower your click-through rate and negatively impact your rankings. Low text to HTML ratio means there's too much code compared to the actual text on the page. This usually means you need to add more content or clean up your website's markup. Long title elements. Some titles are just too long, exceeding recommended limits, 
which isn't ideal for search results. And finally, there are hreflang conflicts within the page's source code. This can confuse Google when it tries to understand which language or regional version of the page to show. So yeah, even major websites like bbc.com aren't immune to SEO issues. These are things that need fixing to stay optimized. The great thing is, with SEMrush, you can export the audit results, turn them into a PDF, or share them with your team or client. You can also track changes over time. For example, by scheduling audits to run daily or weekly. That way you'll always know how your site health and SEO performance are evolving. This is exactly why Site Audit is such a powerful tool and one you absolutely need, especially with Google's latest algorithm updates in 2025. Final thoughts. We have seen how even industry giants like BBC.com can run into SEO issues, from missing canonical tags to duplicate titles and HTTPS inconsistencies. The key takeaway – no website is too big to skip regular audits. Staying on top of technical SEO is crucial, especially with Google's evolving algorithms in 2025. With tools like SEMrush, you can easily identify problems, track your site's health over time, and make data-driven improvements that actually boost your rankings. Whether you're running a personal blog, an online store, or managing enterprise-level sites, this is a game-changer. If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Till next time.